Hey kids, welcome to unit three, lesson five, enhanced for loops, exercise number three. Looks like we have another important vocabulary exercise. Let's look at our terms. Precondition. We haven't talked about this very much, but you've actually seen this quite a bit while we've been doing our coding. This is really a condition that always must be true for the code segment to be executed. Think of index equals zero, as long as the index is less than something, do something. Loop control variable. Again, we've seen this. This is part of a for loop. It's just the index we're at. Enhance for loop. That's what we've been talking about this entire lesson. That's our shortcut when we want to look through an entire array. A for loop. Well, that's just a loop. When we want to look through an array, could be the entire array or just part of it. Let's take a look at our terms here. A loop for traversing an array from the first element to the last. Well, that sounds like our enhanced loop that goes from the first to last. We have no control where it stops. It's just all or nothing. A variable that is changed by a constant value and determines the end of the loop. A variable that chains and ends the loop. That sounds a lot like an index or a loop control variable. A condition that must always be true just before the execution of a code segment. That sounds like a precondition. A loop used to repeat a block of code an unknown number of times. Well, that sounds just like our for loop. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. Hopefully this video helped you understand a little of the vocabulary we've been using. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.